Welcome back. Children's has many goals for the next hundred years, but perhaps the most important one is to simply become the best children's hospital in the country. I recently had the good fortune of sitting down with CEO Dr. Tom Hansen, and he shared some of his thoughts with me. Doctor, what do you see for the next 100 years of Children's Hospital? There will always be challenges, but we're going to get much, much better at meeting those challenges in the future. I wouldn't be surprised to see this hospital double in size over the next 10 years, have twice as many patients in the hospital on any given day in 10 years as it does right now. Part of Children's mission is to develop a major research institute that really sets this hospital apart and sets the stage for this place to be an international force. Kathy, they're poised to do exactly that. Through a research initiative, they're reaching children globally by finding new treatments and, in some cases, cures. Research around the diseases that affect children, uh, it belongs in children's hospitals. If we're not doing research on how to make children healthier, who is going to do that research in this country? Dr. Craig Rubens concurs. I think that the, the wave of the future here is research and how it integrates into all that we do at Children's to provide high quality care to anyone who walks through our doors. We've made huge steps in the, the pace at which we acquire knowledge is ever accelerating. And that makes it really exciting, again, when we begin to think about what might really come out of all of this research. I think this is where it gets very exciting because for Children's, my view of the research and Enterprise here is that the next 10 to 20 years is all about discovery. It's about realizing the new concepts around how infections are occur in children and then taking that knowledge and translating that into new opportunities for prevention and cure. As we effectively begin to cure diseases or prevent diseases through vaccines and new drugs, we will always on the other side have new organisms that become human pathogens. What we're going to do within mining your lifetime is just incredible. I see a, a, an end to many of the genetic diseases that plague children, diseases like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia and hemophilia. And I also see an end to many of the other diseases that are problems for children like rheumatoid arthritis and some of the immune deficiency diseases. We were thinking about it the other day back to what this hospital must have been like in the 50s. It must have been almost totally a polio hospital. And now it has nothing to do with polio. Unfortunately, it seems that for every pediatric disease that is eradicated, there's a new one waiting in the wings. For example, a generation ago, there was no such thing as AIDS. And pediatric AIDS is something top researcher Lisa Frankel knows all about here at home and around the world. The research our group does on HIV AIDS it really focuses on preventing transmission of HIV to infants. And in Seattle, that has to do a lot with getting the proper therapy for the women when they're pregnant. Worldwide, our focus is on um, getting adequate treatment to the pregnant woman and preventing drug resistance in the woman as well as the infant. And her work is paying off. The research I've been involved in both here at Children's and with the international groups we work with, have figured out how to pretty much prevent transmission of HIV from women to babies. And so here in Seattle, we have not have had transmission of HIV from a mother to her baby since 1994. Next up, the story of a young orphan boy whose visit here inspired him to become a doctor. That story, when Children's Hospital, a century of caring and hope, continues.